Uganda portrays a clear agricultural investment destination in Africa given the green field opportunities in commercial farming and value addition. The two abundant training seasons with over 50% of the arable land in East Africa is also an added advantage. There are companies who are interested in investing in the sugar, in the seed sector, in the uh, processing sector, in the land development sector. So this we hope that this will end in very good results. The agriculture sector in the country has been encountering several setbacks given the fact that it is being dominated by smallholder farmers, heavy dependence on rain-fed agriculture, dominated and exploited by middlemen and non-mechanized agriculture systems among others. The investors hope to invest in mechanization of the sector and other agricultural inputs to boost the sector's growth. I think that by increasing by supply, supplying in, improved varieties of seeds, they can assist us to be able to have better yields and more sustainable agricultural practices. However, solid investments in the agriculture sector will not only require funds but land as well, which is apparently available in huge acres. The northern Uganda region alone has over 1 million acres, but the challenge is that it is communally owned by the locals who need a proper approach mechanism to give it up for investment. Sitting together as a family, sitting together as uh, landowners, agreeing on certain terms and looking at the investment opportunity on it would make the whole family prosper. Population growth needs to be tackled through the growth of the agriculture sector to provide sufficient food security in the country. Uganda has available market for surplus produce in the East African community, the commercial region and other countries which every agriculturist should die to satisfy. For NBS News, I'm Salma Namwanje and Priscilla Chisachi.